date for the 15th of October uh, for the QuasiDB service. AJ is going as expected because of the dynamic movement across time. In a nutshell, when they go long, price should fall, um, which they have done, as you can see. Uh, they not only go long, but they hold long. So why does price fall? Because um, basically it stops. It's a stop hunt. So if they go long, price comes down to take their stops. That's it in a nutshell, really. Um, and now the holding, because of that bias, it should continue to fall. The SLC below 74.68, which was quite close, above 75.32. So we can probably ignore the high level by binoculars, look at it from a microscopic view. See how much more powerful that is. So um, yeah, so that's a good example of the dynamic shifting across time. AU, likewise, look at price. You go long, so price falls. Y, to take their stops. Look at that big stop loss chunk. Look at this one, look at this one. Huge liquidity just being stolen from the retail. Uh, it's like daylight robbery. And they don't even have to make excuses for themselves because that's FX. You know, you, you know it's a gamble, but they just blindly take that those stops and they punish the herd. So, uh, yes, yeah, so it's, it's very key that you understand this, the dynamic movement and why it why price falls it's for that reason. Uh, below 70.82, above uh, 71.50. EA above 16604 and low is 16491. Remember to just to keep an eye on your pink line, that's your monthly pivot, so that's like a line in the sand. If it's above, then it's a bullish. If it's below, then we're bearish. But try and combine the two, the sentiment and the technical. Um, See, so again, also note the greens as well, greens or reds. EU, so we see we've got some bearish um, technicals and they're going long over time. So that's like a combination of the two, getting those two to, to agree. Above 117.70, below 117.13. Above for GU, 13090, uh, 12978. We did take out a stop loss cluster. Remember these blue bars are just old liquidity areas. So we took one out earlier today. That wasn't the round number, uh, but it's very choppy. It's like a, like a wavy almost. So that in itself would be a buy, which it was. But if they go long, <laughs> then it's going to come down. So I would avoid this one uh, quite keenly. I would not watch. I would just watch this today. And the same with uh, Pound Gen as well. And you that we're below monthly pivot now, 66.38. So from a risk to reward perspective, that's not a bad call. Uh, if you want to trade off the monthly pivot because it's nice and tight the stops uh, technicals quite bearish but we're a bit sideways on the sentiment if they sell it it can come up but um if they if they buy it it'll come down so uh of the two the ssc above is larger so yeah, it's a bit tricky uh ej above we've got one two three eighty and below 123.4. Remember the yen bubble is strong and it has been all week, so we don't really want to fight the, that, that bubble. It's been quite stoically strong all week, so and that's them going long over time and the signal's down. So you know, combining the two together, you should be okay. Uh, pound yen, likewise, this movement is bullish. But if they continue to do it again in that sort of dramatic fashion, then it's going to rally. And we are actually our buy at the high level, but we're below monthly pivot. Um, so the one above is 137.4 and below 136.65. UJ monthly pivot is 105.34, so we're 10 pips away. One above is 105.6, one below is 105. We're a sell at the high level and then go along over time, so it should be falling. Um, dollar CAD, very sideways, and the sideways and the dynamic, so it's like a mirror image. Uh, I mean, we should probably be getting that SRC, it's large, and it's the largest one that we look at, so 
above 13166, we're six pips away, so it's likely that's going to get taken. And below is 13095 dollar Swiss. Above 9150, below 9080. We are a sell, but it's pretty sideways, really. I mean, that's a bullish move, unless they continue to sell it at full come. But yeah, it's a bit sideways currently. Gold is your monthly pivot 1908, and then your SSC above is 1935, and below is 1880. Technicals are pretty weak, and the signal was down just now. It's saying to wait, um, but we're going long over time. That action is bearish, so we should come down to get that SLC. And um, quick look at risk. And there's your resistance at MR1 at 3555, and it coincides with that supply. So, uh, yeah, um, hopefully you understand the bubbles and stuff. And if not, let me know. It's important that you understand that what you know how they work. It's like the core of what we do. And, um, yeah, have a good day, and I'll speak to you guys tomorrow.